hey guys, this is two live streams today. That's a record for me. <laughs> I hate these, but it is way easier to get on and to talk than to try to post a whole bunch of stuff. So I have two favors to ask everyone. Um, a lot has been going on today. A lot of information has been coming out. Um, I've been on and off the phone all day today with different people, but I wanted to ask two favors of everyone. I've had a lot of people that have said, oh, but we, we live so far away. I wish we were closer. I wish there was more we could do. Well, this is something that you can do. So two favors. Um, many of you may have already heard that about Greg Burleson, he, um, they're thinking that maybe he started to have seizures during, during trial, um, right in the middle of trial. For those of you that don't know, um, Greg or know his situation. So Greg, Greg's current situation, I have talked to some of his family members, um, and people who have close contact with him. I don't know Greg personally, but I, I heard some things and I wanted to, um, I wanted to look into them more to see if it was true. I, I couldn't believe it. So Greg, um, his current situation, he is in a wheelchair. He's confined to a wheelchair. He, he barely, I, I mean, he's so sick, so sick. He is confined to a wheelchair. Um, people who have attended court have said the kind of situation that he's in. He, he's skin and bones. Um, and he's blind. He has gone, when he was arrested, he was walking out of a doctor's appointment. So he could walk and he could see. Now he's confined to a wheelchair, skin and bones, um, and, and he's blind, completely blind. I think he can see some shadows is what some family member says, but he's, he's gone completely blind and at time he's had several seizures while being in jail and people who have who have been held or gelled next to him have mentioned not just one one person but several people have mentioned hearing him um having these seizures and not being attended to he and and many times even being left in his own urine and I, just horrible 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 things horrible <laughs> This is America, this isn't a third world country, this is America, and this is how this person who is supposed to be innocent, right? Innocent unless proven guilty, this is how he's being treated. He's not being given the medical attention that he needs. Um, he has gone blind because he hasn't been given the medication that he needs, just on and on and on. Um, and several times his family has been worried that he won't even make it to trial. So he's made it to trial and you know, every day for him is, is he going to live? Is he going to make it? And, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy, 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 crazy that this can go on, that this person is so dangerous, this person that can't even see or walk is so dangerous, he can't be allowed to be released to get the medical attention he needs before he is no longer here on this earth. And I, I mean, I just, I can't even wrap my brain around it. This person that was free for how, from 2000, 14 to 2016 he was okay to not be gelled but now all of a sudden he he's so dangerous that he can't get pre-trial release so that he can get the medical attention he needs not only that but they should be giving it to him in jail so if they can't do that they should release him so that he can get the help he needs anyways i i just 
obviously I'm flustered. <laughs> I just, I can't, the, the things that my eyes have been opened up to this year have, uh, I just, I, I get emotional even talking about it. I just, I don't understand it. And I don't understand how every single American isn't outraged by what's going on. It just, it makes me wonder how much more is going on out there that we don't even know about. Um, so I have two requests. The first request, please pray for Greg. Pray for Greg Burleson. He needs, he needs our prayers to make it through this trial. He, he has, I just, I feel so sad for him and I just am blown away what he has suffered this year and you know who knows if he'll ever get his sight back um when they are found not guilty what do you say sorry here you go let's release you but you won't have sight ever again our bad um it just it blows me away um so please 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 pray for greg as soon as we know updates um, we will all try to share from family members or whoever, as soon as I know uh, anything, I will definitely let everyone know. The second request is, um, I, there, there's so much information coming out and we have to be really careful what we share. We don't want to, um... I know the FBI is watching my Facebook. I was in a court document filed by by Ronnie, um, the FBI agent in Port. I know, I know they're watching, um, and I know the informants are watching. <laughs> so I have to be really careful what I say. Hopefully, well, it will all eventually come out. But there, I'm gonna say this. Please, please, please keep Dan Love's name in your posts. Everyone should should wonder, including the jury, should it should be a little bit strange that the head FBI agent that was in charge in Nevada during the Bundy Ranch situation, it's a little strange that he hasn't showed up to court. He's not going to take the stand. Um, and anyways, there's, there's some other stuff that will come out, but it is, it's not a coincidence that he's not there. It's for a reason. They're trying to cover him, protect him, seal everything they can for a reason. So I just, I ask you to please keep his name in your posts. Please keep looking into him. Um, please keep posting that, you know, as, as Americans, we deserve to know the truth. And that includes the truth from um, everything about Dan Love. <laughs> and we deserve to know. We deserve to know. And I promise you, it is not a coincidence that He's nowhere to be found, the person in charge, and also this claim of, of mental illness. Nobody wants to uh, um, admit to mental illness unless they're trying to cover their own skin. And, and you know, if you claim being mentally ill, you avoid prison time and jail time and so, Without going into everything, please keep Dan Love in your social media posts. He, his name needs to stay in social media, and there's so much, so so many other things going on. But it's very important that we don't forget about him. That we let them know that we still remember him. We still want to know the truth, um, and. Don't forget that he and Greg Bretzing are friends. Greg's the one that got Dan his his job, and we know that from my extended family's case. 
So there's no coincidence that Greg all of a sudden decides to retire and step down and no longer be with the FBI. And no coincidence that everything about Dan Love is is being covered up. So the two requests, prayers for Greg, and please keep putting Dan Love's name in social media so that more people, there's, there's politicians, there's people that have pull and have say and that can, can make a difference that are, are finding out little things here and there about who this person really is and what he really has done and so we want to keep reminding them um, that we too would like to know the truth about Dan Love and we would like to know what his past in, entails and um, all this stuff that he, that's being covered up. Um, those two requests, I hope you all have a great day um, and prayers, lots of prayers. God definitely 100% has his hand in all of this. And and for those waiting for the verdict in, in Oregon, I have no doubt that they'll be acquitted. 100%. No doubt at all. I have seen um, God's hand in all of this from from day one, and I, I have no doubt about it. Um, so yes, keep fighting the good fight. Thank you.